Now, before the month ends, we wanted to shed light on an important issue many teens have experienced and sadly know all too well, teen dating violence. February is Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month, and one teen who's a survivor of sexual assault sat down with 3 News Now reporter Sydney Gray and shared her story of overcoming trauma. Good morning, Sydney. Hey, good morning, Courtney and Maya. Maddie Carbaugh is an intelligent and resilient teenager. She's had some difficult experiences in the past, but she tells me the Girl Scouts organization has helped empower other, helped her empower other teens who've had similar experiences. I felt like I didn't own my body and like, I didn't feel like I could be myself. High school senior Madeline Carbaugh is taking back control of her body. I thought that like my body and everything was gross and I felt like it wasn't really me anymore. Maddie was sexually assaulted when she was just 15 years old, but through therapy, this longtime Girl Scout has regained power in her own life. Nobody should have to feel the way that I felt when I went through it. By supporting other survivors, Maddie earned the Gold Award through the Girl Scouts organization. She got connected with the Women's Center for Advancement, and now she hosts weekly support group meetings for teens. I don't want girls who have the same situation as me where the first time that they ever had anything done to them, it wasn't consensual. Because of her leadership over the past 10 years, Maddie earned these patches. She recently received a mental health awareness patch. This is one small way that I can at least try to help, and even if it helps one person, it's worth it. And before Maddie heads to college in the fall, she hopes to leave a lasting impact on other survivors. I want them to know that it's not their fault, that you yourself are not an object no matter what anyone else tries to make you think, and that you are valuable and that you are worth it. Maddie's group meets Mondays at 5 at the Women's Center for Advancement. She tells me all teen girls in need of support are welcome. In studio, Sydney Gray, 3 News Now, this morning.